Today, I am ordering items from Goodwill. To put Goodwill to the test, I'm ordering a bunch of items from their store to see exactly how good or bad the deals really are. So this is called The Grid, powered by Goodwill. Now I've heard rumors that a lot of Goodwill stores actually ship their tech to this store. And looking at the photo, I mean, it looks like a video game store. Assorted lot of PCI computer cards for 10 bucks. So it's probably like some capture card. I see what looks like a PS2. Is that a graphics card? Here are an assortment of video games that are scratched slash untested for 66 bucks. But you can see, I mean, that's a lot. They've got PS2 games, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, Wii. I mean, that's a lot of games. Oh, a gaming PC, hello. $200, okay. But you've got a Core i7-3930K. That was a high-end chip back in the day. 32 gigs of RAM, a GTX 680. Now they did take out the SSD. Back when this was new, probably what, 2012, 2013, this is probably like a $2,000 system and they're selling it by now for $200. Oh, it's even got the, oh dude, it's got the Noctua cooler? Dude, this system would have been dope. Although, why they installed the GPU on the bottom slot is strange. <gasps> oh, 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 what? Vintage Apple II Plus and two floppy drives? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh God. I I'm also gonna need some heavy duty uh, eucalyptus oh, oil yeah. to clean it up. Hello, Xbox One beta build dev unit, $800. What is this doing? at Goodwill. Who donates a dev Xbox? Are you kidding me? All right, so I'm gonna spend the next probably several hours bidding on as many of these items as I can get my hands on because this is, oh, it's so cool. So I may have ordered a little bit more than I expected, um, but these are all of our Goodwill grid boxes. I have no idea what's what, so let's uh, let's dive in, shall we? Let's start out with Fragile box number one. Not only do they nicely tape up the box, but that is like so much bubble wrap to the point where I don't even know what this is. Oh, wait, no, there's more. Oh, no, no, there's more stuff too. What the? Okay, so item number one is my Sony Tablet P. <gasps> wait, yeah, wait, got it. Really? Yes, the Sony Tablet P. Did you ever have a Sony Tablet P, Ken? Did you want? No, one? I've always wanted. <laughs> I went to CES when they announced this thing and I did a hands-on video. I'm holding my Zoom H1, I got my three sizes, two large dress shirt on and I drop it. I dropped it straight in the middle of the Sony booth. Uh, of course it does have a pair of screens, but as you guys can see. So this was an AT&T exclusive, so it does have 3G. And you can tell how old it is because it doesn't have the Play Store. It has the Android market, which I highly doubt works. It gives me a sign in failure. So I guess it's so old that this is no longer supported. What version of Android is this actually running? I'm curious. So we are on Android 3.2.1. Here's the problem with this. It's so old that nothing works on it anymore, which is a shame because we actually did pay a hundred bucks, a little over a hundred bucks for this. So the concept was that this was a dual screen Android device they called it a tablet. It had a bunch of PlayStation features. So if you close it, you actually have a tiny little PlayStation like Play logo. This is around the time that they're doing also the Xperia Play. So the concept was you buy a Sony phone, you also get like the ability to play some PlayStation games like PS1 and whatnot. This is ahead of its time. I wish I could do something on it because nothing is working. You know what though? Is that tablet in your pocket? Oh boy. It's my Z Flip 6. That'd be a fold. What? I can hear you over how cool my tablet is. We have our digital Mavica. This box is so much bigger than I thought. Who drops this off at Goodwill? What are y'all doing? This is so cool. Wait, are those the, is that the floppy disk one? Yeah, this floppy disk, yeah, yeah. <gasps> 1.3 megapixels. Oh my God, this is. Oh. I know, this is great. So this camera came out in 2000. This, uh, this camera's old enough to work at Overclock Media. I hate that there are people working here who are not as old as this camera. There's a baby editing this video right now. Oh my God, the person editing this video might be less old than this camera. That's disturbing, I don't like that. You mean younger? <laughs> the Mavic, oh dude, it's so much bigger than I thought. I mean, I guess it's got a floppy disk drive, but like, yo, 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 I'm yo. gonna be taking this to concerts, I can't wait. Yeah, actually like for real, right? Say cheese. 
So we're currently at the drag strip just hanging out. We felt like it was the perfect opportunity to try the Mavica in the real world. You've got some really good photos with this. It's actually perfect because there's a lot of action happening. So it's been a learning curve trying to figure out when to take a photo because the buffer is real. It runs on floppy disks to save all the photos. So I have this box of just floppy disks. It'll hold about six to eight photos per disc, which is hilarious. While the Tablet P may not have been a commercial, financial, or spiritual success, you know what it was? The iPad. So this is the very first generation of Steve Jobs' favorite isolate, the iPad. I thought it was gonna be the isolate. Okay, look, I still think isolate was a better name. So, the what? The iSlate. Everyone thought that before the iPad came out, it was gonna be called the iSlate. Oh my God, it's so good! Remember skeuomorphism? Oh, it's got the noise. Wait, 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 hold on, we got, we got. I do miss that. <laughs> so this is running iOS 5.1. That's why, you know what else is interesting? Back at back in the day, Twitter was one of the settings. Oh my, look at the old multitasking, I forgot about this. You double tap the home button and your multitasking pops up on the bottom. Look at that, it's so good, dude. Like, honestly, this holds up. Now I will say it is heavy. Trying to hold this with one hand. It's a two hand It, it is. Woof. Like a lot of the tech that we're looking at today, a lot of the stuff is old and no longer supported. In my head, the iPad is what it's always been in my head, which is this neat, cool device that we all thought was super cool for 500 bucks when Steve Jobs walked out on stage. But in reality, I don't even, it's like, you know what it is? The iPad's like somebody I used to know. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff in here. Ooh! I do know what this one is. This is my lot of GPUs. So because I got that Dell, I wanted to make sure that I could actually do something with it. So I bought a lot, it's just a complete random assortment of old graphics cards. Are any of them functional? I have no idea, they're all untested. But I assume that they probably, at least some of them are. Oh, oh, score! We got a 6800 GTS. Okay, so if literally nothing else works, this is the GPU that I actually want. This whole box is GPUs. That's GPUs, these are GPUs, these are GPUs! I gotta like fast track this. Look how many of these I have. What, what the <laughs> shoot happened here? <laughs> what is a VHDC? I've never seen that in my life. Hey, this is actually, this one's decent though. So this is not an ATI card. This is an AMD Radeon card. Oh, an NVIDIA NVS 315. Oh, I got one too. So I started building my first PCs in like 2011 or so. So before that, I'm not super familiar with a lot of these cards. Oh, hey, 5750. Yeah. <laughs> now that's actually, this is a legit card. Oh, what the? Oh, that's old. Look at the Molex. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, this thing would have been so badass. NX68T2560H. Look at the power. We've got a six pin into dual Molex that shows you how old this is. This is so, if this works, that is so cool. 42 graphics cards for $55? Bro, I saw a photo with five and I was like, sweet, I'll get one and upgrade a PC. This is ridiculous. <sighs> okay, I think, oh, this thing is heavy. I think I know what this is. I believe that this is our 2013 era gaming PC. This is really big. I gotta flip the whole box over. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's so big that it couldn't even fit in a box. <laughs> so it's just a PC. Ah. Oh my God, that's so heavy. Oh, there's a knock to a badge on the back. Someone has some, some taste. This has an i7 3930K, 32 gigs of RAM, GTX 680. Now they did remove the hard drive, which I think is their like standard policy because they don't want like to, you know, pass people's data along. So I'm going to have to install a fresh copy of, I mean, I should be able to run Windows 10 on it. Although I guess period correct would probably be Windows 7. Um, all right, so let's take a look here. So we've got a ton of ports, which is USB absolutely everywhere, including two e SATA. We've got a TX750 power supply, actually still totally decent. Our GPU, let's actually crack it open and see. So it's definitely a little bit cosmetically scuffed. Look at that, look at the Noctua, just the chungus right there. So this is our GTX 680. Man, that was like, that was primo when it came out. And we got 32 gigs of RAM, oh, 
Oh yeah, 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 because it's got quad channel because it's a 3930K. I bet you that this as is will be a pretty decent gaming PC, but if I put in even like a vaguely competent, slightly newer graphics card, this thing would actually still kick ass even today. I will admit, a lot of money, but this thing I think still has some life in it. So with this system, we've done basically nothing to it. We have not cleaned it up or anything. We just put an SSD and a fresh copy of Windows 7 on it, and I think there's a couple of games that we can try, but I'm a little bit more excited for this one, if I'm honest, because this was kind of the era where like, I was building PCs, and I definitely did not build a PC this cool back in like 2011, 2012. Like this was like, oh, we're already into it. Wow, are we already into Windows? Hey, look at that, a thing that actually works? That's crazy. Let's see what we've got here. So, okay, so processor. So yeah, it does show all six cores and 12 with hyper-threading of our 3930K uh, display adapters. And it does show 680 as well. What I wanna do is I actually wanna try to play some games. Now I assume this is just gonna cross, oh yeah. Look at that. Look at the crisis action. Look how smooth that is too. Crisis was an incredibly difficult game to run at like max settings. Um, but at this point, a few years on with the 680, I mean, this system is so high-end that it's not really a problem. Like, I mean, this is super smooth. This looks great. I think I've got all I need to know with the system. Subscribe to the channel. I have, I think, a really cool idea with what I could do with this, but we have a whole lot more stuff to go through. So this, my friends, should be our HP Pavilion. Yes, so it is a... <laughs> this is a DV6000. And if you're wondering why it's so chungusy, may I direct your attention to the back with the mega giant 9,000 watt battery. Holy, this laptop cost a mere $17. Yeah, you heard me right, not $170, $17. So this is a core two processor with two gigs of RAM and no hard drive or anything and minor cosmetic damage. Can I just point out how chungusy this battery really is? Look at the, just the, just the sheer size. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling, okay, you know what? Um, I, it's, uh, it's a big battery. You know, enough talking about the battery. Um, let's take a look here. This originally ran Windows Vista Home Premium, baby. You heard me right. This laptop, we're loading up a copy of Vista. So when it comes to my $19 laptop, I have some concerns. It is massively heavy. What can we do with Vista today? Now, I'm gonna sound like a broken record here. Running Vista, not a good idea anymore. Nothing really supports it. But at least Vista, I think I could get like a web browser working. I'm pretty sure I can do that. I'm gonna watch a video on Windows Vista and I'm gonna go back and relive my glory days. Yeah, here's the problem, I can't see it. So if I turn it for you, I can't see it. So you know what I'll do? Yeah, I imagine the, the viewing angle on there is really, really, okay, the shoes are off. It actually works! Not well, and I don't know if I'd recommend it, but it works! What are we, 360p? That's a video that counts, right? Also, uh, it told me that I can't run Firefox. Okay, yeah, I know Firefox. I'm out of a date by like 15 years. I get it. I may have gone a little PC crazy, I'll admit. Uh, <laughs> we have ourselves a Dell Optiplex 7600. Now you might see this and go, Huh? Who cares? But for $28, I got big plans. I bought this because on the listing, it had it labeled as a Core 2 Quad, which was a legit CPU that would be very excited to try. But the sticker says Core 2 Duo, which is uh, a lot less exciting, and I would not have bought it if it's a Core 2 Duo. Uh... We do have ourselves both a floppy disk as well as a DVD drive. Okay, now we're talking. So, this is my little riser. So, what the? Oh, weird. So, what they've got here is basically I've got a old school PCI slot and a newer PCI Express slot. And basically these are just doubled up. So these two slots go down to here. So basically, I have the option of installing an older graphics card or a newer GPU. Oh, man, okay, that kind of actually sucks. So, this is a... 255 watt power supply, 80 plus silver. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be limited in what kind of GPU I can install just because I have to be able to have something that doesn't require external power, which means it's gonna be 75 watts or less. So the problem is any remotely decent GPU that's gonna be from the last 15 years is gonna need at least some external power. This actually might not be a bad move just because I want to get HDMI out of this computer. 
Um, I don't know what this is though. How about we install our mystery GPU? Uh, what's the worst that could happen? There we go. And that is, uh, that's it. It's, uh, it's installed. So we got the system up and running. And as I'm sure you can hear, it's seen better days. It does show it is in fact a core two quad. Yeah. Uh, is, is there a mechanical hard drive in there? There's no hard drive in here. Yeah, so it sounds like a dying hard drive, but there is no hard drive. And it's also coming directly from the power supply, which is real, real, real bad. They're micro fireworks. Those, yeah, so this, I think this power supply is literally dying as we speak. I don't think that we should plug this one in anymore. <laughs> Last but not least, let's see what's in the final box. So this is a lot of over 40 games that I paid $112 for. So the photo showed a mix of all kinds of stuff. Um, and I'm, wow. NBA Live 06, FIFA Soccer 06, NBA 2K6 with a different logo, NBA Live 2005, MVP, NASCAR Thunder 2002! Actually, I'll play that. I, I, I'll play I that. own this game, let's go! So I think we've got enough games to keep us excited for quite a while. Perfect, this takes six of day three. We're losing our hugs. It's day six. Day six. We've been working on Goodwill for so long. <laughs> because I have purchased so many games, why don't we try? We've already got the PS3 out here. It's got full back and back. Let's start by playing some NASCAR Thunder. We'll play some Duke Nukem Land of the Babes from Get Them Blockbuster. We're just gonna have a good time. Yeah, let's go, boys. Let's go. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire, Ricky Bobby! Help me out, bro! Help me, Tom Cruise! Help me, Jesus! Ah! Oh, God, Matt, what are you doing? Wait, wait, Matt, what? <laughs> Do you care to tell me yeah? why the hell you or you bought 97 copies of Skylanders Giants? You didn't... What? Look, Matt, I got a little excited no, when no, no, I saw... No, 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 I saw... Look, look at the... Here, just... Just... Look, I had Do you it. care to explain yourself here? I just thought that it was a good deal. I'm gonna take your credit card away. NCAA it's, this is the, football. It's great, look. Do we need to have every version of NCAA? Look, uh... Do we need to have every Sims expansion pack? Oh, I see what I want. <laughs> see? You're trying to roast me. There's some good stuff. I just had to buy hundreds of games and dozens of graphics cards in these huge lots. And eventually I found some gems. Look, Zombieland, still sealed. Law and Order, the first season on DVD. What could you, what, what could you possibly complain about? Clearly purchasing huge, huge swaths of technology from Goodwill is a great idea. I did not get scammed. In fact, I would go so far as to say that I scammed Goodwill. I scammed them by giving them money and then giving them my items back because I'm a, supporter of the cause. You can finally learn how to edit horror f films. Final cut, death on the silver screen. Don't show the editors. That's a wrap.